My name is Kara Humphreys and I am in the Instructional Technology Program, earning my specialist degree at Kennesaw State University. I currently work as a Media Specialist at Reese Road Leadership Academy in Columbus, Georgia. My capstone project is titled Increasing Achievement with Web 2.0. I chose this topic after reviewing the data collected through needs assessment surveys, interviews with administration and teachers, and student achievement data. Based on the data and research conducted, I determined that teachers weren't aware of how to use technology in their classrooms. In effort to increase student achievement and student engagement, I decided to focus my capstone project on increasing teachers' knowledge on the utilization of Web 2.0 tools for instruction as well as for informal assessments. I also plan to teach them how to organize blended learning environments in their classrooms. Throughout this project, I plan to work with teachers to increase their knowledge and use of Web 2.0 tools for instruction and assessments. I have planned three sessions of professional learning to expose teachers to different types of tools that can be implemented in the classroom. I will also share the research behind these tools with teachers and staff. My plan is to administer a survey at the beginning of the project and a few more throughout to monitor the use of technology within the classroom. I will also administer a survey at the end of the project to determine how teachers were impacted and what changes I should make for the next school year. The capstone project objective is by the end of the school year of 2019, which is in May 2019, RRLA teachers will increase the use of Web 2.0 tools into weekly lesson plans by 25%. The first project will be broken into two sessions. The first one hour session will take place during post planning for school year 2018 and will focus on classroom management and study tools such as Class Dojo, Online Timers, and Online Jeopardy. Teachers will also learn about tools that are available online through Google Apps since Muskogee County School District has recently created Google accounts for all students. I will model how to use Google Classroom, Google Earth, and Google Docs. Teachers will have the chance to explore the tools I've introduced to them during the training through a scavenger hunt given to them on a Google Doc. Teachers will complete a questionnaire documenting their knowledge of Web 2.0 tools after the training. During the second one hour session, teachers will receive a refresher for the new school year that touches on the tools that were already introduced during post planning. The second activity will consist of a two hour workshop focusing on quiz building tools like Clickers, Kahoot, Quizlet, Socrative, and Google Classroom. I will also introduce them to productivity tools such as Prezi, Flipbook, Google Slides, Wordle, and Poplet. The third activity will be a two-hour workshop focusing on virtual learning environments and social networking in the classroom. Teachers will learn about how to use Padlet, Edmodo, and Twitter as a way to communicate with students outside of the classroom and during instruction. Teachers will also learn about how to use these tools within the classroom for instruction and informal assessments. During the session, teachers will participate using, utilizing Padlet by using a smart device to scan a QR code to reach the site. They will be able to access video, share during presentations, and post questions during the workshop that will be addressed at the end of the session. Teachers will be exposed to other tools such as iCivics, Mission US, and Vokey. Teachers will choose one of the tools to explore further during the session. Evaluation Plan Throughout this project, teachers will be evaluated after every workshop to determine their knowledge and level of technology implementation within the classroom. 
At the beginning of the project, teachers will complete a pre-assessment that determines their current use of technology in the classroom. The pre-assessment survey data will allow for proper planning of workshops. At the end of the project, teachers will complete a post-assessment survey to determine if I have met the overall objective of the project as well as fulfilled the PSE standards aligned with each objective. The first evaluation tool will be administered before the project begins to get baseline data of how teachers use technology and what steps need to be taken when planning workshops. Teachers will complete a needs assessment survey on Google Docs. This will take place prior to the post planning training session in May 2018. After the first session of training on technology tools, teachers will be asked to complete an exit survey. This survey will determine if the training on Google Apps was effective and what should be changed for the next training. This will take place in May 2018 during post planning. The second evaluation instrument will be that will be used will be a 321 exit ticket. This form will be created on Google Sheets and take place in October 2018. This document will help me understand three things that the teachers learn, two things they will commit to using this school year, and one thing that they still want to learn more about. I will use these tech exit tickets to determine which teachers need more assistance. They will also help me in planning model lessons for those teachers. I may also plan another workshop based off of the information received from the exit tickets. At the beginning of the third workshop, I will use Plickers as an anchor for the workshop as well as an assessment tool to determine how social networking tools and virtual learning tool environment are being used within the school already for instruction. This will be an informal assessment that will allow me to quickly see who's implementing these tools into their classroom already. Throughout the third workshop, teachers will be required to participate in the workshop through Padlet. This tool will be an informal observation which will allow me to see who is able to use this virtual learning tool. This will also give teachers the chance to post questions that they have during the workshop. These questions will also help me understand the level of understanding among the teachers. The final evaluation method of the project will be a post-assessment survey using Google Docs. This will take place at the end of the school year 2018-2019 in May. This survey will document how often teachers are using technology in their classroom. will also determine whether teachers are planning engaging lessons using Web 2.0 tools. The capstone proposal implementation took place during the school year 2018-2019. Some things that were in the plan have been modified. I was able to implement some of the elements in the proposal, but had to change some due to time constraints. Since our school already has so many professional development requirements in place by the district, it was hard for me to fit in every part of the capstone as PD for the entire faculty. I realized very quickly that administration has several requirements that have to be fulfilled first before other elements can be put into place. With that in mind, I talked with individual grade levels and planned a time to meet with them during grade level meetings in order to deliver parts of my capstone. Teachers were very interested and eager to learn how to use Web 2.0 tools in their class classroom. Another obstacle that I faced was the principal wanted me to do professional development that didn't necessarily align with my capstone. Although these workshops were not aligned, I took the opportunity to learn more about professional development. I completed two workshops for parents and teachers and students on digital safety and using internet properly. Attendees completed surveys at the end of each workshop. The first one took place at the public library and attendees received received information about how to have the safe talk with students about using the internet and devices properly. This workshop was very informative for parents and teachers because they learned about dangers of the internet and how to ensure safety among our students. 
They also learned about apps that are safe for student use. The second professional development was titled Be Internet Awesome. This workshop gave information about how to set limits on devices and focuses more on internet etiquette. This workshop took place at our school. Our school is in the process, process of becoming STEAM certified, so my principal proposed that I plan a PD for teachers on how to implement STEAM in the classroom. I have attended several workshops this school year for STEM and STEAM. With the information that I've gained through the, this program, I have created workshops and professional developments for teachers at my school. Since STEAM has a technology-rich component, I was able to integrate Web 2.0 tools and intertwine certain elements from the original capstone plan and information gained at my trainings, trainings into these workshops. I completed a STEAM training in the month of April during teacher's planning time. This PD focused on Google Classroom, Flickers and the engineering design process, Padlet, and how to implement the STEAM journals in the classroom. I am the STEAM chair, so I will be responsible for making sure that everyone has been trained throughout our building. The certification process is two years, so I'll be conducting training next school year as well. I have already planned to conduct a professional development session during post planning for teachers on Google Sites. All teachers will set up their own Google site and it will be linked to their Google Classroom. Another training that will take place will be how to link teachers' Google Sites to our district-wide learning platform, Canvas. I'm excited to learn more about how to help teachers grow in their, learn in their level of technology implementation. While completing my capstone project, I learned a lot about technology leadership and the skills needed in order for it to run smoothly. In order for implementation to be effective and efficient, the technology coach must have all the materials prepared prior to training and ensure that all links and websites are working properly. The technology coach must possess proper knowledge, skills, and disposition in order for the capstone to be meaningful for teachers and other participants. The technology coach must be knowledgeable about grade level content standards being taught so that the capstone addresses those standards. The coach must also be aware of the needs of the school as a whole by analyzing data. This data may be derived from statewide assessment, needs assessments, interviews, and or surveys completed by stakeholders. Coaches must share this information and discuss results with stakeholders in order to ensure that everyone shares the same vision for educational technology. After the vision of our school was established, I used the technology standards, content standards, and needs of the school to plan my capstone project. I incorporated instructional design to design the workshops. Along with knowledge of standards and data, the technology coach must possess a certain skill set in order for the capstone to be carried out properly. To ensure effective planning and professional development, the coach must know how to plan PD using appropriate pedagogy of teaching and learning. Teachers need guidance and modeling just as students do. When presenting my capstone, I use modeling and demonstration videos so that teachers understood the content. I also allow teachers to discuss and ask questions. Another skill that, teach, that coaches must have to is being able to troubleshoot with a variety of Web 2.0 tools. The topic of my capstone was using Web 2.0 tools in the classroom. In order for the teachers to understand how to use these tools, I had to train myself how to be fluent with various online tools. These included quiz building tools, presentation tools, management and study tools, and social media for the classroom. To ensure that I was able to answer teacher questions about these tools, I explored each one and learned how to solve issues when they arose. When presenting my capstone project, I realized that I needed to have an energetic disposition for my PDs to be effective and impactful. I also tried to be open to the teacher's comments and suggestions. When teachers had concerns about how to implement Web 2.0 tools in their classroom, I gave them suggestions. I also offered to model lessons and co-teach with them as well. This experience has made me stronger as an educator and a better resource for teachers in my business. Here is my copyright acknowledgement page. 
All of these resources were used to plan my capstone project.